Christmas. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful, awesome, peaceful, great Christmas day. I got my fresh, delicious, hot coffee here. And I am, I thought I would do a stand up video for a change. Get some more light. I just got done eating some bacon. And in a, about an hour, I'm going to put the ham in. It's a smoked ham, so just want to get it nice and warm. Maybe get a little crust on it. Uh, you know what? I've had a great morning this morning. My 16-year-old Elijah, he played a prank on me. So it was pretty cute, pretty funny. But he tricked me a little bit to, to let me know that he got a new phone from grandma for Christmas. And my oldest, David, my 20 year old, he, he video messaged me and just shared his blessings of how his girlfriend responded to her gifts that he so lovingly picked out for her. So just a wonderful, awesome start to my Christmas. I slept great last night. I was warm. I uh, had quite a bit of sadness yesterday. I don't know, I'm sure you could tell there's a lot on my mind. I, I found out a few things that hurt me very deeply, devastated my soul, but I took it to God and he took the pain away. That doesn't usually happen so quickly, but they did this time and I'm very thankful for that. Um, I don't know, I wanted to add a couple things to my words and thoughts yesterday. I hope you understand that the things that I spoke yesterday come from me, come from me, uh, you know, being a Christian. And I am fully aware that when it comes to matters of character, that I could be with an atheist that had far better, far better character far better character than someone who called themselves a Christian. So I'm certainly not saying that, you know, all my friends, my future friends have to be Christians or, you know, that I keep myself only in the flock with when it comes to, you know, loving and stuff like that. Absolutely not. So I have, I have a lot of talk I'll do one day about my beliefs on all that stuff, but I've said, I've said years ago, and for years I've been saying that, you know, I could get more character out of an atheist than a fake Christian, so, uh, this coffee's really good, my cup is great, keeps, keeps the coffee hot, so my spirits are up, and, I don't know, I'll take that broken heart and do something good with it, really. I've definitely got a deep clean in here. I was, you know, soaking up in my self-pity yesterday, so I just trashed my camper, just kind of threw everything around, and I got a little bit of a mess to clean up. Small spaces get messy really easy. Um, yeah, I hope you have a merry, wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I hope that you feel loved today. Hope you feel peace today. Thank you for being kind to me. Thank you for whoever watches my videos. Thank you to my new friends. Thank you for my friends who've been here for the past three months. Well, really it's four months since I started my RV camper life. It's one of the most amazing things that's ever happened to me. And it was something that I discovered on YouTube and went for, dreamed about, prayed about, and it's definitely a reality now, that's for sure. So, yeah. Oh, I want to say something. Uh, my friend Paul Allison, I think that's your name. If I got it wrong, it's kind of embarrassing, but... You are such an a-hole. 
you know what? I will never block you because I really like you and I like your attitude. But let me tell you something. Having a little wood stove is not a grandiose plan. And I just want to let you know that I literally live in extreme poverty. So, you know, a $100, $200 wood stove is not feasible for me right now. I barely even work part-time at 9 bucks an hour. So, and for the past, you know, two, over two months, I haven't even had a job. So, don't be such an a-hole. Being a realist is going to get you called an a-hole. Because I'm a realist too. That's why I'm not going to block you. Because I like you. But, you know what? This is my first time doing this. This is my first year doing this. So, if things didn't work out that well, just give me a little time until next year and see what I accomplish. So, yeah, I, I, I messed up. Instead of going forward, I went backward. It cost me a few months, but that's alright. Because, you know what? I learned a lot of stuff the past couple months. So, just had to say that, Paul, Mr. A-hole, comment on my videos more because I actually like your comments. I like you. But yeah, I'm, I'm having a really good day. I, it's nice and sunny. I mean, it's freaking freezing though. I, it's so cold. Oh, my son told me that one more of my packages arrived today, or Maybe it did yesterday, probably, or because I'm sure he doesn't check his front porch every single day. But my matches, my long, awesome matches, my four boxes of matches arrived. So I can't wait. He he asked me, he wants a pack of them for his candles. He's really into candles right now. It's his first apartment, you know. And so I told him he could have a pack, but I've got three packs of matches for my, for my needs, for my bushcraft camper living needs. So thank you so much for the blessing that you gave me buying that off my Amazon wish list, which I'm not going to add my wish list to every video. I think I, there's such a fine line between what they call e-begging. So someone originally asked me to make an Amazon wish list. Eric did, which I thank God that he did. I've been blessed mightily through my wish list. Got some things I, I need, but I'm not going to put it up for every video. And eventually I will, I will add it to my about section instead of just putting it on my videos. And, you know, I thought about it, adding my PayPal, that's just taking a little too far, you know. I don't work hard for my videos at this point. Yeah, editing takes a while, but it's fun. It helps me. And it's not like I'm doing anything worth, I don't know. I'm just tore up about the PayPal thing. Just, I don't want to, I don't want to put that up right now at this point. So, yeah, quite a rambling video here, but uh, my spirit's alive and well yesterday's gone I'm gonna choose to battle this deep deep pain and not let it turn into deep dark pain and I'm going to battle it with humor and I'm just gonna find the I'm gonna find the light and stand in it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with this deep darkness crap so yeah All right, uh, Merry Christmas, God bless you, have a good one, love you.